So this morning I got up at 3.45 a.m. and flew to Chicago. I'm right here inside the heart of Chicago, about to step into a whole day workshop where I'm not teaching. I'm actually the one who's growing and learning. And what's interesting is that I hear people all the time talk about how you know, personal growth is hard or they don't have resources or they don't have the ability to uh, grow, they don't have time, you know, all, all this stuff, all these excuses. And all I wanna say is that, you know what? It's your responsibility, it's my responsibility to find a way to keep growing personally. It's impossible, and in fact, it's incongruent, it's hypocritical for us to ask other people to invest in our products and services, to hire us as coaches, to book us as speakers, to buy our products and services if we ourselves are not continuing to grow. And so I got three wonderful kids and a wife and I wasn't about to just you know waste days in Chicago overnight with a hotel and be away from them for added days. So for me, it's fly in, go to the seminar all day and fly out just like that. I'll let you know how it is, but it was a beautiful flight, did some work on the way over, and uh, we'll probably do some work on the way back. The point is this, you need to find a way, and I get it. You know, back years and years ago, I didn't have much of a, a salary at all, so for me, personal growth was basically free podcasts or maybe audiobooks, this type of thing, and that's cool, and there's a time and a place for that, but it is literally uh, impossible not to grow today if you want to. In other words, there's so many resources out that are available today, and to not grow, especially while we have something called net time, no extra time. The average person, you've probably heard me share this be before, commutes enough in a three-year period that if they were listening to audio programming, they could earn a PhD in that subject matter. Now, I wasn't always about personal growth and learning. In fact, for a lot of years, it actually ticked me off, just to be honest. It actually frustrated me, it angered me, because I was learning and growing, and I would hear these things, and then I would be frustrated that I couldn't apply them in my current context because I was at a day job where I felt like I wasn't growing. And for a little bit of period of time, that was a major excuse and that was an error in my part. Shame on me for saying, well, I'm not gonna grow because you know, I'm not in an area where I can express that creativity. Complete selfishness complete ignorance. Look, even if you're at a spot today where listening to personal growth actually angers you, it actually frustrates you because you're saying, well, gee, I wanna grow so bad, but I can't do it in my current context. That's okay. Let that angst and frustration channel into some form of creativity and action. And we call it a side hustle. So this is Carrie Oberbrunner, Be a Soul on Fire today. Love to hear how you're growing today personally and how you're taking action. And let me tell you, it is cold out here. We'll see you soon.